So I'm going to show you this little sandwich cutter. Um, as you know, they sell these um, types of sandwiches without the crust. Uh, my son does not like crusts. I actually don't either, but don't tell him that. And uh, you can pay some big bucks to pay for a name brand already made sandwich, or you can make them yourself and just buy this really affordable um, money saving cutter. So I already made these sandwiches here. It comes with this little star kind of stamp that you can do on the front of them. I have not been using this stamp, but um, I'll show you what it looks like. That's what the stamp looks like. There's two size cutters. Um, this one, bigger size, and then the little baby one. And all you gotta do is use the big round one first, press down just like a cookie cutter. Oops, sorry, keep it in there. Keep it in your sandwich. Boom, boom, boom. Then use a little end squisher. I don't know what it's called, but I call it end squisher. Hold it down and like Play-Doh, take out the ends. Voila, there you are. And they have a little baby one. So that's the big one for your average size sandwich. I made another sandwich. This one I'll eat myself, I won't give it to my son. And you have the size, a little smaller. So if you want, if you're having a party, you want to do something cute, I don't know. It seems like it's a little bit too small of a sandwich for me, but put the big one, the little one inside. So the big one goes first. The little one squishes down the edges. See, that's a double. Take off the sides. There's your hole. And then, so these would be like kind of really cute things for parties birthday parties and here's the baby one so affordable it comes in different colors we got the blue there's two different sizes save yourself some money people and just diy at home